Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday, August the 22nd, and it's 10.33 a.m. And I thought I would go ahead and share this. Uh, this is another dream of Dana Coverstones. And as with all prophecy, brothers and sisters, if it disturbs you or you're not so sure it's of the Lord or whatever, just take it to the Lord for your own confirmation. And he'll either give you a scripture or download something into your spirit to prove it or disprove it. Because um, somebody told me they had um, qualms about, um, uh, that's not the word they used, but to, uh, weren't sure of Dana Coverstone. But, you know, Watchwoman had said that also and took it down and I personally have not had any red flags that doesn't mean I'm you know I'm not the end to beat all so if any of you have you know um maybe share it with me in an email I don't want to ever pass on anything that I believe is not of the Lord um I'm careful about what I share we're not supposed to share every prophecy like some channels do. If someone puts it up, bam, there they go. They got a video to make. They're going to share it. Not that I'm saying that's about any one particular channel. I'm just saying I believe that's what's happening with some channels. Anyway, discernment, discernment, discernment. The title of this is Major Warning to the Saints. In parentheses, it says... Must see mature saints only. Close parentheses. It could disturb children or people who are not there yet. If you're not a mature saint, you might not understand it. It is a dream. Remember that. And dreams are hardly ever literal. They are metaphorical as a rule. Okay? So keep that in mind. The channel putting it up is Kingdom Dominion ALC. However they say that. <laughs> okay, so um, it is about uh, wolves coming into the church. Literal wolves being having been woke up by Satan, stirred up, angered up, and sent into towns. They crawled into the churches, sat beside people, and the folks were just stroking them. You know, like, oh, nice little puppy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> wolves about to bite their heads off. But no, we know what wolves represent. False leaders, false teachers, false Christians who are sent into churches to infiltrate, to drop their lies here and there. That's what wolves are, right? Wolves in sheep's clothing. Well, anyway, so that's basically what it's about. So I'm just going to link it. And uh, if you want to see it, then um, feel free to watch it. It is basically... For us, I, I take this as for mature saints only. Okay, why would it be for mature saints only if it was meant to be kept to ourselves? It is to instruct you on what is going on in the churches. Why Jesus keeps saying, come out of her, my people. And those who are awake to the days we're in, we're not supposed to keep all this stuff to ourselves. You're supposed to pass it on, even if it's one-on-one, -on, -one, on your own channel, maybe share it, like it. His, not mine, because his is the message. And then people that look and see what you like will say, oh, she liked this video, I'll watch it too. You see what I'm saying? That's how people are. That's how come liking something gets it shared, okay? And share it on your Facebook. Um, and 
please include the C must see mature saints only. And that way, or um, for um, however you want to word it, not for children. Just because, you know, they're more sensitive about what children watch now. I don't know why they give a rip. Satan kills them left and right, has them kidnapped for pedophilia and all sorts of things. Why should he care if they watch something that's a little scary to them? But they wouldn't understand it anyway. So let's just keep it for adults, okay? Teenagers and up anyway. I'll end it at that, all right? I will plead the blood of Jesus over it because it is what I consider a prophetic dream. I plead the blood of Jesus over my computer, myself, my internet connection, and over each and every single one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. And I pray for you. I pray blessings over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you every night. And I pray that we all be found worthy to escape these things that are uh, come to pass soon and to stand before the Son of Man. <laughs> Forgetting the words. I say it every day. <laughs> okay. With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.